Hello everybody, this is Gregory with Permanent Weight Loss Made Easy, where there should be no hesitation in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today we're going to continue the series on highly processed foods, or HPFs, and talk about the liquid component of this. Now before we begin, if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also check out my two books, which you can find on Amazon, my podcast, The Awakened Man, which is very health related, my website, which has hundreds of articles and recipes, my other podcast on movies called The Cinema Rag, and lastly, if you appreciate my content, there's a link for PayPal. So I definitely recommend you check out the previous episode, which was kind of an introduction to highly processed foods, or HPFs. As the name would suggest, highly processed foods are foods that are essentially Franken foods or fake foods. And so most of these you'll find in the middle aisle of the grocery store because they are so, so shot up with preservatives and they are so fake that they don't need to be refrigerated. So and no, and, and intentionally, the grocery stores will put these in the middle aisle and intentionally put the produce and the dairy and the meats in separate sections because they want you to wander through the middle aisles because the grocery stores make money off of you buying these things. And of course, the food manufacturers like Kraft, Nestle, and the different companies that make these, these crap foods want to make money off of you. And they charge high for these. A lot of it's for the packaging. And also because this, these foods are cheap to make because they don't really have a lot of good ingredients in them. So today we're gonna to talk about the liquid component. I've talked about in previous episodes here in the last year or so that we should avoid ingesting our calories in liquids uh, as a whole. I mean, there's going to be exceptions. We have an episode here, juicing versus smoothies, and we, we talk about like some ways to make very nutrient-dense smoothies that can maybe be a meal replacement. I would tell you to make your own smoothies instead of buying naked smoothies or Odalala or going to Jamba Juice because those have anywhere from 50 to 70 grams of sugar is just complete junk and you need to control the ingredients and this is why you should preferably eat at home most of the time because you can control your ingredients better so there's going to be some exceptions as to where you can drink your calories but as a whole the majority of americans who adhere to the standard american diet the sad diet they get their calories from drinking from a couple of sources the obvious one's going to be sodas sodas are the biggest franken food of all time they are highly processed Food, no doubt, because if you look at the ingredients, it's essentially a sweetener in a food dye, in a preservative. That's it. That's what we jokingly call Coca-Cola, Coca cancer, because of the ingredients in it. So the sweetener is probably going to be high fructose corn syrup, which is ultra, ultra refined corn syrup, which is ultra refined from corn. And we've talked about it before, how they put high fructose corn syrup in sodas as sweeteners over cane sugar because it's cheaper to use any corn derivative because of the subsidies that the government gives to the corn maker. So they have all this leftover corn, so they're like, let's whip it up into this concoction, which is an obesogen, and it's highly addictive, much sweeter than cane sugar. And so they put it in the soda, and then sodas, and you can look at pictures of this, sodas without caramel color, if you're looking at a Coke, looks disgusting. So they put in a food dye called caramel color. Most people don't look in the back of these cans because most of you guys who drink sodas got hooked on them at a very young age and you never think to look on the back of the can. But it's a food dye, but when you hear the word caramel color, you think, oh, it's got caramel. So maybe caramel is natural, but look at the ingredients of, of chewy caramels. It's garbage as well. It's just sugar in food dyes as well. But your Fanta, your Sprite, whatever you're drinking, your Big Red, these all have tons of food dyes. And then they shoot them up with preservatives as well to keep them, quote, fresh. So these sodas are high in calories and low in nutrition. I mean, low, it's, it's, it's more like high in calories and no in nutrition because there's no nutrition that comes from sodas. It's a complete waste of calories. And like we talked about in the inaugural episode, the problem with highly processed foods is that they're high in calories and low in nutrition, or in this case, no in nutrition. So instead of the typical woman ingesting 2,000 calories a day, because we're eating a lot of these HPFs, you're consuming 3,500 calories a day, your body doesn't need 3,500 calories a day and therefore the excess deficit leads to obesity. So stage one is stop drinking sodas. So if and you look, look at diet sodas, they use aspartame and acesulfan and potassium and some of them use Splenda. All of these have a very sordid past, especially aspartame. We have a couple episodes of The Awakened Man about the history of aspartame. Aspartame has been used 
in our, in our food supply, so to speak, since the 1980s. And if you look at animal testing, uh, Dr. Olney was a scientist who did testing in the 70s on aspartame before it was allowed to be in food and drinks, caused seizures in mice, caused tumors in mice, and a host of problems. So, and also the studies show that the more diet sodas you drink, the more likely you're gonna be overweight. So you wanna avoid diet sodas in general. So sodas in general, avoid. The other big culprit's gonna be alcohol because as a whole, alcohol, aside from maybe some ancillary benefits you can get from red, red, red wine in terms of resveratrol, soda, and, or I'm sorry, alcohol in general is a class one carcinogen. Alcohol destroys your organs and should be avoided. Easier said than done because a lot of people who drink alcohol, they're codependent on it and it's, it's like another vice that they started back when they were younger and I would say like with cigarette smoking, if it was that easy for people to stop drinking alcohol, they would because I think people who drink a lot of alcohol do have a certain amount of cognitive dissonance where they'll be like, oh, alcohol is not a problem, but then part of them knows, yeah, alcohol is a major problem and they have a problem with it. So try to stay off the alcohol. Then you look at lesser tier problems like orange juice is highly processed and it's junk. It's just pure sugar and then a pure insulin response by the body. So I would tell you to stay away from most juices, apple juice, orange juice, cranberry juice, any juice, and again, just garbage. It's just garbage, garbage, garbage. Milk, we have an episode on milk. I would tell you milk does have some benefits, but I would also tell you that milk does have some hypoallergenic effects that many people can have, but certainly compared to sodas and to sweet tea, which is another problem, and to alcohol, there are nutrient and, and nutrient benefits from milk. We do have some episodes here and at Naturopathic Earth where we rank non-dairy, quote, milk alternatives. So like soy milk and oat milk and all these things. You might want to check that out. But in general, I would tell you, do what I do. And of course, you know, I, I don't do what I do because I do it. Do what I do because I've lost over 100 pounds. And I've kept it off for 30 years. So what I would tell you is in terms of drinking stuff, water, unsweetened tea, black coffee, and then on occasion drink milk and look don't drink sodas because again it's like we have an intellect and a, and a will for a reason if we know there's absolutely no benefit that comes from drinking soda then why are we drinking soda you shouldn't be drinking soda and then same thing you could say about alcohol and you could same thing you could say about the juices which have nominal nominal very low nominal nutrient benefits so when it comes to highly processed foods liquid wise I would tell you the only thing that you should have on occasion is make a smoothie on your own. Make it nutrient dense, fat dense. We have episodes on it here. And then juicing on occasion to cleanse the colon and some other things. And aside from that, and aside from milk here and there, just stay away from drinking your calories. Guys, post in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.